Hello everybody, good to have you all back. We are still explicitly in the world of internship and in today's video I am bringing various internship opportunity and job vacancy with World Food Program. Apparently it's not really a World Food Program but it's an opportunity that actually involves um, various career across the world, not just in World Food Program but in various um, diversity that you could help so this is the link to where you can apply for the internship and other job vacancies and i'm going to drop it in the description button of this video where you can check it out uh so once you open the link you're going to scroll down here and you click on find an internship but before you click on find an internship you should check on am i eligible for an internship so the first thing is they ask is to check if you are eligible for this internship. Is either you are currently enrolled in a recognized university or graduated in the last six months. That is their condition. Uh, you're, you've completed at least two years of undergraduate study and you're motivated, team player and open to new challenges and your working knowledge of other English, other United Nations languages are a plus. Like if you know other languages, um, French, Spanish, Chinese, etc. Interested in learning and taking a first step in the humanitarian sector. If you really care about the sustainable development programs, especially in the humanitarian sector, then this is for you. They have several internships open here. And uh, once you are chosen for the internship for the World Food Program, you are going to be prepared because you're going to provide your recent university record, that is the proof of enrollment of your degree, as well as your course transcripts, the various courses that you've done. You can request that from your university and they will give that to you. Another thing you should look at is that this internship normally lasts between two to eight months. So the World Food um, Program contributes to your internship with a stipend that is connected to the specific duty station and the maximum amount is one thousand dollars per month they are that um generous i think that's way for a student and also before you start your internship with warfare program you will be asked for proof of medical insurance are you medically insured i think that's for you and also you will be responsible for organizing and paying for your travel and accommodation arrangement however the world food program will reimburse your travel tickets for candidates who are nationals of developing countries and are pursuing their studies in their home country so if you are for example developing countries they, in quotes the third world country uh, if you are from that kind of country the world food program would sponsor your journey and all but if you are in a already developed country you are you are going to be the one responsible for paying for your travel and making your accommodation arrangement for the period and duration of your program um that being said it is Good for you to know that this program is not a remote internship it's actually a physically present internship and it cuts across various countries so you don't need to panic about it i am going to list out the countries we are going to see the countries that this internship is readily available that you can apply okay that being said uh after that you just scroll up a little bit and you come here find an internship because there are various internships so you just click find an internship and it opens up this page and like you see here now the first thing that it's on my screen is um facility project manager this is not an internship this is a job opportunity so if you are if if you have if you already have a work experience in facility project management then you can apply for this and your location is in egypt this is for you and we also have nutrition information system and early warning specialist this is for people in italy if you are specialized in nutrition this job is for you and consultant data visualization analyst uh if you're in italy this job opportunity is for you and now as you are checking the job opportunity you also have to check for the closing date for example the data visualization analyst the closing date is on the 5th of january that is three days from now to close at um at this time 0059 uh forklift operator and executor executor business relation management program assistant and all of that always check their countries in ethiopia the area of expertise now they state clearly that this is a type of contract type of country is a short-term opportunity therefore it's not like it's a permanent job role so you have to note that as you're scrolling down you will see internship yeah this is an internship for human resources if you're in rwanda this opportunity for you for internship this is an internship in 
finance also for people in rwanda this is an internship and also in rwanda for catch based transfer another internship in rwanda for logistics another internship in rwanda smallholder agricultural market support and etc so you can just scroll down i'll keep checking if you're looking for internship um monitoring intern this is one is for venezuela so depending on the country that you're located and also depending on your course of studies that you study you can check it down here uh communication intern also in rwanda so this one is in italy uh business development team partnership so this is for italy and also an internship this is an internship for germany for government partnerships this is an internship for the united states of america external relations un system and multilateral e engagement division at new york so if you can support yourself or you feel that you are eligible to apply for this internship this one is in italy you can come here and apply for it so for example uh this is an internship in italy and the closing date is tomorrow so you have to just note that for you to know if the vacancy has not yet been occupied i have they not chose somebody already uh, because the closing date is already here you just click here and it is still open so because if it's already closed once you click and check vacancy if the vacancy is no longer available it will not open this page so if it is still open you will click on apply and you apply for this program it's going to ask you to sign up uh there's going to ask you some personal statement it's going to ask you for uh your like your personal credentials your name your address your email address and everything the country you're from are you eligible to sponsor yourself where you're currently located and you're going to answer all of those questions if you are from developing country like it was clearly stated you are going to tell them that you're from a developing country and you will need a visa to travel to the country of your choice in which the internship is located and they would they would assess your application you're going to write some essays to know if you're actually eligible for them to sponsor your visa and they are going to check all of those things before they get back to you if you meet the required condition and also if you're eligible for them to sponsor your visa so this thing comes in two ways if you're from a developed country just make sure that you can get a visa and also you're sponsoring yourself in transportation and accommodation but if you are from a developing country uh, you have to be sure that you're eligible to apply for a visa in the intended country of your choice that you want to um, go to and you would gladly sponsor that. They will also have to check if even if you're in a developing country, can you sponsor yourself or can you not sponsor yourself? So you are going to be in that position where you can prove to them that you cannot really sponsor yourself. So once you submit the application, they will get back to you between two weeks and they will tell you your position if you are supposed to pack your bags and get ready to travel or if you're going to apply for another internship opportunity. So yeah, this is an this is a great internship opportunity and I really hope that you're going to make the best out of it. Check it out and see what it is till i see you next time stay blessed and have a great life